I don't think I've played this course yet. I could be remembering it correctly, though. You seriously have to press the A button to progress that. What the heck? Also, you start out by floating a little bit. What the heck? Interesting, they used the Wario's Goldmine music for the soundtrack for this course. Wario's Goldmine soundtrack for this course. Yeah, I haven't played this before. Interesting. I think the frickin' water is just a texture hack, so you can't actually drive through the water in Mario Kart Wii. Well, deep water, anyway. Gotta love the vibrance of color. Like, the colors, like, the textures look so good. The vibrance of color is incredible. The course, this course looks really good. This, like, this is one instance of a course that actually looks extremely... Extremely hard. I'll say this. This course looks significantly better in this game than it does in Mario Kart 7. So here's, here we have an example of a course that actually looks way better in CGPP than it did in Mario Kart 7. Like, seriously. The textures are awesome. The bro is awesome. The frickin' vibrance and color is incredible. Huge praises to people that made the, the, this course for CGPP because this looks really good. Next up is Neobaza City, and of course it's named Neokuba City. It was of course brought back in Mario Kart 8 initially in DLC, then just in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in general. How the road looks. Once 
once again using the Move You Highway soundtrack. The textures look real nice and clean in this too. Now well, they were able to program, got to one, but they were able to program small water droplets. They even have the water puddles. Wasn't trying to pass the clause, but thank the game. Messing up worked out in my favor. <laughs> so nice being able to play Marker 7 tracks and Marker we being able to make use of wheelies with the bike. And the wheelies are absent from Marker 8 with the bikes. Wow. Stupid freaking game giving Daisy triple banana pills and can we not with the Okay, I love the freaking custom texture of the freaking Bowser heads over the freaking usual ink spots when you get blooper. That is very random, very unexpected, and very awesome. I would never expect that they would do a texture, custom texture for something like a freaking item that you Next up is Maka Woohoo, but that's not what it's called in this, so take me a little bit to frickin' find the course. Because they could, they can't do sessions in this game. They have made this a two-lap course. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't actually break something. So I don't know because I didn't remember it just being one lap. I did remember them using Daisy Circuit for this course though. Oh, no. I just didn't pay attention enough when I raised this. 
I didn't actually race on it because I didn't remember that part of the. I don't remember that part of the end, and I did this recently from when I'm recording this too, a couple of three weeks ago from now, so. Now, 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 when you guys are seeing this now. So, anyway, next up is. Let me see here. So far, the horses have been brought back. That I've raced on Music Park, I haven't raced on, but it was brought back in Mario Kart 8. Piranha Plant Slide was brought back in Mario Kart 8. Neo Buster City was brought back in Mario Kart 8. And coming up is the last course that was brought back in Mario Kart 8 from Mario Kart 7, DK Jungle, but it's called something different in TTGP. It's called DK Ruins. <clears throat> and of course for this they use DK Mountain soundtrack. Oh, never mind. I remember that correctly. They used the DK Jungle Parkway music. No cheeky enemies, though. They couldn't do that. Super Mario bumping me. Keep an anvil, douchebag. Super pow! Come on, can you not with the lightning? Sigh. 
blue shell, please. Screw you, Luigi. Screw you, Luigi. One thing I will get Mario Kart Tour. Okay, where's the Rosalina course then? There we go. Rosalina Snow World. I really, 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 really hope this track comes back in my mind. I know for a fact I didn't race on the full extent of this course because when I tried out doing 200 CC, and there's a part in the beginning where I just kept falling and couldn't make it, so I passed on it. This part right here. Shell. Yeah. 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 
stupid freaking banana peel trail. Oh crap. Wrong, and it's in the game. I don't know. In CGUB, and I don't know what Bowser's Castle was not brought from Mario Kart 7 was not brought back in CGUB. So, this will now end up being ended off with the final track of Mario Kart 7 brought back in CGUB, to my knowledge, Rainbow Road. Say this right now if there's any other courses brought back in CGGP that I am unaware of are in CGGP that are from Mario Kart 7 that I have not shown off. If anybody knows about them, please let me know in the comment section below. And when I return to this game for customs, what if one and if I can return to this game for custom tracks in general in the future, I will work, do any of those tracks that I may have missed. But that said, let's do the final track <clears throat> of this video and this let's play. I'm going to skip this. You want to see that full intro? Check out my N64 videos. Show out the N64 horses. Again, if they were able to make... Uh, Maka Wuhu a one lap race. I don't know why they couldn't make this horse a one lap race. <laughs> I love that. That is cool and hilarious. <laughs> Stupid close shell. At least Toadette got caught up there. Seriously? Get wiped out, Dry Bowser.
you stupid Bowser. Also, what the frick, Yoshi? Wait for that stupid, annoying end of the race blue shell crap. split this into two videos so it's not just one big video so anyway guys that's it that, that's it for this video i hope you guys all enjoyed these videos and this uh cgtv custom retro tracks let's play and i'll see you guys next time on youtube not for this let's play for whatever i upload next to whatever i had already whatever i upload next or whatever you guys watch of my Hi, everybody.